and welcome to Pre-K with Miss K. Today, I am undercover. I am joined by Mr. Bear. And also we're joined by Johnny. Johnny. Johnny is here to learn about our super secret message today that we're gonna make so that you can make it at home. All you need is some baking soda and some grape juice concentrate. Are you ready to get started? Before we decode our secret message, we're gonna learn about some other codes today. The first one is going to be Morse code. It uses sets of dots and dashes to represent letters. When they were coming up with the code, they researched which letters are used most often and used simpler dots and dashes for those letters. For example, E was the most used letter, so they just have one dot. Maybe you have heard of the emergency signal SOS. When they would do SOS, when they had an emergency on boats, they would do dot, dot, dot for S, dash, dash, dash for O, and dot, dot, dot for S. The SOS comes from Morse code. I'm gonna put a link in the video to an example of someone using the dots and dashes for the whole alphabet. Our first secret message is gonna be in Morse code. I put a link on the video to picklebums.com and she has free printables of learning Morse code. So if you have our key, let's see, dash, dot, dot, dot. That would be letter B. Dash, dash, dash. That would be letter O. And another dash, dash, dash would be another O. So our secret message says, boo! Great job using Morse code. Next, we're gonna learn about the pig pen cipher. I had never heard of this before. It's a simple substitution cipher. So you take a letter and then you would draw the box this way. This pig pen cipher is so old, even George Washington's army, the very first president's army had documentation about the pig pen cipher. It was even used in the American Civil War. Wow, that is pretty old. You can print out this sheet about the pig pen cipher code from picklebums.com. I put the link and let's use our code to see if we can solve our next cipher. Okay, which one would look like this? That would be the B. Uh-oh, this looks familiar. What has an open with a dot? So we need the dots. Which one is open to the right? O and O. B-O-O -O spells? Boo! Boo! We did boo in Morse code and now in the pig pen cipher. A couple more fun facts that I learned from the CIA.gov, our central intelligence agency in the United States, was that pigeons, the bird pigeons, used to be used as spies a long time ago. They were sent out with a secret camera to gather intelligence. So the pigeons were undercover with cameras. Nowadays, they have intelligence analysts. And those analysts recruit people in foreign countries they translate foreign newspapers, foreign TVs and magazines. They study satellite images from outer space and they crack codes and other secret messages. And they take all that information and their assessments to the government officials to see what they've found. I think it's time for us to do our own secret message. Remember you needed grape juice concentrate, and some baking soda, and water, and Q-tips. Are you ready to solve our secret message? Let's get started. We are back and ready to decode our two secret messages. So again, you need equal parts of baking soda and water in your cup to write your message. You have to keep stirring it a lot because it will get clumpy and the water and the baking soda will separate. So you draw your message on your paper and then you wait for it to dry all the way. It has to be completely dry. Once it's dry, then you need your grape juice concentrate. You can use a Q-tip 
but for our sake today we're using a paintbrush because it spreads easier. The grape juice concentrate is a little bit thicker and helps see the message clearer. Okay, it's time to decode our messages. Go ahead, Mr. Bear. What is that secret message? <gasps> what is our secret message? A smiley face. A smiley face. Message number one is a smiley face. What could message number two be? And message number two says, boo. boo. We solved three codes. We did Morse code, the pig pen cipher, and our secret grape juice and baking soda message. Before we go, our last thing is a joke for today. Are you ready, Mr. Beer? Why does the tarantula wear a disguise? Like me, why is the tarantula Wear a disguise. Because a secret message. Because he's a spider. Get it? Like an undercover spy. <laughs> All right, friends. Thanks for joining us. We hope you had fun learning about Morse code, pig pen cipher, and doing your own secret message. Bye.